Mm. So why don't you do the writing? Because you you've been a teacher longer than me. You've got nice, <laughs> nice and I'm left-handed, so that's my excuse for everything. We have set ourselves up on the right size, though. So oh, true. Right yeah. Left, so so how about we write light board tips or top tips or something like that? And as you can see, that is in the screen. So. The way you've got this set up, it's absolutely perfect. You can actually yeah. just check on the, the screen straight away. So you don't come unstuck like I do sometimes and, and write off the screen. You don't know until you put it through post-production. So I can see down to here, we can write down to here. So we could get, or even better still, would be to get a uh, just a black whiteboard yes. marker. So um, we could go down and see, so probably around about there, we use our whiteboard marker uh, sorry, yeah, black whiteboard marker, <laughs> and then then you can't see that in the shop. The other thing sometimes you can do with a whiteboard marker is plan your points and just if you want to. Yeah. But I think I mentioned the other day, don't write too much. Yeah, yeah. Thing. If you can see it. Yeah. Um, what I wanted to tell you though is, see, I'm, I'm wearing a black shirt, which yep. I think is best practice to wear dark colours, because say for example, if if you if you're drawing a diagram here, and um, this is a cow, by the way. <laughs> I was wondering where you're going with that one. <laughs> so I've been doing a lot of ecology videos and human impacts of animal agriculture, etc. So it's a cow. So you know, as you can see, you can write over it, and if you've got a white shirt, it makes it harder to see. Yeah. yeah. But I, I've made a um, a schoolboy error here. As you can see, I've got writing on my shirt. Now, when we flip it for in post production. The writing is going to be backwards and it's yeah. just going to freak people out. Yeah. And it's distracting, you don't need this sort of distraction. Unless we're doing a video on the molecular structure of caffeine, it's irrelevant. So, plain shirts, and it doesn't have to be pitch black, like that blue looks yeah. really good. Um, yeah, so that, that's a, a top tip I think. Yeah. Now, I'm not wearing my glasses today, um, and I find I've got a lot more credibility when I'm wearing my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I hate making videos that's, without glasses. Okay, that's top two. Yeah. Wear, <laughs> you wear your glasses. glasses. Whether you need a prescription or not, wear glasses. <laughs> uh, and the other one was, what was it? Um, uh, no writing on your shirt. Um, and, and, and use a black whiteboard marker to, uh, to mark the boundary of your video. The other thing that... <laughs> Um, and we can we can zoom back to show you this. We've got this is on a desk. Ideally, I mean, what I think is great about this is it's still a standing workstation, a standing light board, um, but uh, it, it's on a it's on a, a table. Yeah, yeah. So I think you initially were planning on using it as a seated. Yeah, well, I, th I think it was a bit of a um, knowing that I only had the um, the pool. Um, yeah. Yeah, that were only so tall, yeah. um, and then trying to work out how to have a robust system. Yeah. And I figured if I was sitting down, then depending on the height of the person, it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Um, but I, I think, like I say, it's it's far more comfortable to be standing up. And again, that height isn't going to matter. Not many people are going to be much taller yeah. than us, and we can be in the shot, and you've got quite a lot that you can write. Yeah. With. But then if somebody uh, who's not as tall as us came in to use it, then they can just drop the tripod down yeah. and they can use this part of the screen, which yeah. would be totally fine. Yeah. But the other thing I like about this desk is you can actually put your notes in front yeah. of it yeah. um, and uh, and you don't have to be kind of looking away. Yeah. You know, anytime you do have to look away, you just cut it out in post-production, but yeah. you want it to be as efficient as possible. So, um, so basically you need to have a plan to start off with. If you don't have a plan, your video goes way too long and you repeat things three times, and you end up with a 20 minute video. And I'll tell you what, students will complain about a 20 minute video, without a doubt. Yeah. So, uh, you have a plan, have some notes, a plan on a page, yeah. decide how you want to set it out, how you're going to build it, yeah. how you're going to build your video. I think, I think probably the one thing, I don't know, we talked about before, the idea of not writing out of your face, yeah. that's probably just, with, with your board that's just going to have a little bit that, more yeah, size and yeah. two people a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. This is probably more... This is a one person, a one -person board. person board. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, I, I think I mean, mine is probably about 1600 But yeah. as you say, you buy for your budget. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, um, yeah. Done. Okay.